You know, our sin stains us. It scars us. And even more than that, we ought to be broken when we sin because we recognize what it is that we've done. We recognize what we've brought upon ourselves. We recognize that we've attached something to ourselves that has consequences. In other words, there is what we would call scar tissue on each and every last one of us. If you've given your life to Christ, oh oh yeah, you're forgiven, but you live with the consequences of some stuff. There's scar tissue on you and me. And some of us have even seen it for generations, haven't we? We see it in broken homes that come from broken homes that come from broken homes. Scar tissue, I'm talking about. Here's a shocking statistic for you. Did you know that women whose mothers are abused by their fathers are more likely to end up with an abusive man themselves? Go figure that one out. You see what I mean? Scar tissue. It scars us and it stains us. I know for a fact that there are men who literally beg God to have women modestly dressed at church because of scar tissue that they have. You see, we all must be broken over our sin because it scars all of us. It stains all of us. And when we have a flippant attitude towards sin and we don't experience brokenness, even believers, we as believers, we think, okay, Jesus died for my sins. They're paid for. Woohoo, right? And yet there is scar tissue. Jesus dying for your sins because you're a Christian is not a license to sin. True brokenness is the appropriate response to sin because it scars and it stains us. And sadly, it also creates memories that will stay with each and every one of us. Did you hear me? Memories that don't go away. The Bible says, as far as the east is from the west, right? He's cast my sins as far as the east is from the west into the sea of forgetfulness. Yep, that's how far he takes my sins away from me when I ask for his forgiveness. You're right, but you remember them. Those memories stay with us. You see, God can forget stuff. You, (laughs) not so much. You see, people who are able to forget stuff, we got a name for it. We got a word for it. It's called amnesia. And amnesia is not normal. Okay, we were created that way. I've had people say to me, Dave, man, I pray and I pray and I keep having thoughts about this horrible thing that I did. What do I do? Well, first thing is you got to recognize that sin creates memories, like I said a moment ago that stay with you. And if you don't believe me, just ask any woman that's had an abortion. She may not be honest with you. Somebody convinced her, or she convinced herself, or her boyfriend convinced her, that by doing so, by having this abortion, everything would be okay, all her problems would go away, and you could erase it all and just get on with your life. That is a lie from the pit of hell. Then about a year later, she sees a baby that was about the age that her child would have been had she carried her pregnancy to term, and she crumbles. Why? Because we were not created to forget things. Believe it or not, this is actually a good thing, not being able to forget things, and here's why. If you could forget your sins, you could never, ever testify of the goodness of God. 
There are things that we do that we just don't or can't forget. I don't know how many of you can relate to this like I can, but how many people, we'll even throw the church in there, how many people, even in church, who have come to Christ, let's say later on in life, had sexual partners before they got married and wish they could erase the faces, the scents, the smells, the memories of all those former partners so they could actually enjoy their spouse more thoroughly. You see, if we forget our sins, we wouldn't be warned to not repeat them again. Can you imagine if you could literally forget that a hot stove can burn you? Think about that. God gives us the gift of memory of our sins. And he uses that gift, yes, it's a gift, to urge us, to correct us, and to call us to repentance. And finally, let me say this. We couldn't rejoice in our victories or even see growth that the Spirit has produced in us if it wasn't for those memories.